What you doing now, Dave? <laughs> Getting ready to change out the lock on the RV door. And why are you going to do that? Because this one has remote controls. And our other lock, the lock that came with it, just uh, never worked right. It never hold a code. It would eat up batteries right and left. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Let's see what it's got. This is made by... Risto. And it has a car handle, and I guess it's because it has a bigger handle here than a, a, a standard little finger lock. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we got here. Well, we got the, R the RV door lock manual. We got a key fob. It comes with two key fobs. Let's see what one looks like. That's bonus time there. That's kind of what you were talking about, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. You said remote? Yeah. Okay. There it is. Awesome. Four batteries. I think I would instantly replace those with lithium, though. So. Yeah, yeah. Looks like we got a striker plate there and a, two different types of striker plates, assorted screws, and two, four keys. Looks like a bonus round. A little tiny Phillips screwdriver and a little straight. Okay, so they pro provide the tools. That's nice. Oh, look at that. Double Ooh, tipped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we got the main character. Oh, Lord, that's a beefy thing. Let's see that. Whoa, nice. So I already like this more because it's apparent where your fingers go, where the current one we have, it's not real apparent where the, your fingers go. And this is, makes it very obvious where your lock is. So that's nice. Yeah. And a couple more things in the box here is you got a couple of extra stickers, I guess, that the other ones wear out. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, a couple of batteries in that box too. What's the first thing you're going to do, Dave? Well, I'm going to take off the old lock and striker plates and all that. And I've already done kind of a preliminary look at it. And I think this will go right in the door, replace the old one. No cutting, no fuss, no muss. But uh, first things first, program this thing right here in my hand. Okay. Let's see if it functions like it should good idea all right it's no fun looking at the manual it takes all the mystery out of it <laughs> well this is currently locked so i Cur better go to the manual uh, before we set passwords keys and all that stuff but give it some power yeah i'm thinking we got to put batteries in it uh let me get you some lithiums yeah would you pop that open Oh, we had a beep. Okay. All right, now we got to get to the programming section. Okay, in the manual it says, got a little sticker down here. Password setting, hold down the eight key, then click the lock key. Make a long beep sound. While the light is shining, release the 8 key. Enter the initial password and... What's the initial password? And click lock to confirm. Enter the new password within 3 seconds and click lock to confirm. This action should be repeated twice. The password is set successfully. The number of digits is not limited. Okay, it's tricky on how to program this to your own code. And we went to multiple videos to figure it out. So listen up, because here's how it works. Hold the 8 down for a couple seconds, hit that, it starts flashing, hit 1, 2, 3, 4, lock, and then put your code in, like 5, 6, 7, 8, lock, and do it again, 5, 6, 7, 8, lock, and you get the extra right. beep, but it should work Let's now. Let's see if it works. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, lock. There it goes. Five, six, seven, eight, unlock. Bingo. 
this the keypad here only unlocks the deadbolt and the safety lock you still have to do it here to uh, release this if you have this locked it won't unlock both of them now let's see if we can code the fobs in order to do the fob you have to turn this on go up, slide it up it's up then you're going to take your little tool there and poke it in the hole above it now this one will, will the top one will reset everything we don't want to do that so poke that in Beep. and then okay let's see if it unlocks you locked it it unlocked what does the other button do let's you see. have your choice of orange or black well, let's see if that one works it will not oh okay all right now and i suppose that they have some other door lock that you could purchase from them that you can use both of those all right now let's try the other fob and you already have the batteries in them so these batteries were just um backups mm -hmm. all right so i have to do the same thing on here yeah. Okay. okay. That, that. All right. Well, now hold on. Now let's see if the other five still works. It does. We can each have a, a five. Uh -huh. Yay! 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 This. We're moving the old one. So we gotta unplug this. That's that part. Gotta cut this cock line. There it goes. You got all this caulk on here. I'll have to scrape that off of there. Finish it off with brake cleaner. Uh, brake cleaner cleans that up. So you took these out from where? On the back plate. Okay. Out of here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Pull this plug. There it goes. That's a good thing. <laughs> and that would go like this, I suppose. Yeah. All right, now we're good. latch on the back side of it. What? On the back side of this or on here? The flat side of that latch, yeah. Oh, okay. Because the rubber seals in the door are too thick and I think it just makes it a little too hard to open and close. So since we have that big fat seal on there, you're gonna file off a little bit on the side of this, huh? File off a little bit of the back side of this latch. Using Zippy as your workbench today. You know it. Zippy likes to get involved. 
and this will do what for us? It will give us a little bit more slack in the door. Let the door come forward or out a little bit. Well, we won't have to slam it as hard either, right? Right. Everybody's going to say, well, you should just adjust that striker plate. Well, the striker plate has been adjusted as far as it'll go. So most people probably wouldn't have to do this. But it is an alternative if you need to. Yeah, it's a quick, it's a fix. All right. Tape two. That fits better already. <laughs> and this is where those four screws you got in your hand come in handy. What screws? Uh oh. Screw me. There you go. Screwing me. Let's see how she does. Hope this is it. I hope so too. Ha <laughs> ha. you gotta do is get some paint yeah because <laughs> it's a different, different size different two colors yeah probably okay. wash wouldn't hurt either yeah true you want to check it out see if it's gonna All work right. Ta-da! Alright. Now the real test. Bob. Uh-oh. The wrong button. There it goes. Alright. Bob, keypad, or key. There you go. Whatever you like. I will put specific directions on how to code this and do the fob in the description below. So how many beers, Dave? Six. Why six? Inflation. Putin. Putin beer? It's a Putin. Yeah, Putin drives the price of beer up. I don't know how it happened, but that's what I heard. Check out where you can get one of these keyless entry locks in the description below. And you can also get 10% off. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.